Express the following numbers as a product of prime factors. The first thing you need to do is consider the number itself and the smallest number that can divide into it. You have to ensure that the number you think of is a prime number. So here, the number 1 does go into the number 72, but 1 is not a prime factor. The number 2 goes into 72, so we are allowed to divide by this. This is simply a division sign written upside down, so you have more space underneath to keep calculating. 2 divided into 72 is 3 remains a 1. 2 into 12 is 6. Here you can divide 36 again by the number 2. 2 into 3 is 1, remainder 1. 2 into 16 is 8. Once again, you can divide by the number 2 here. 2 into the number 18 is the number 9. Now here we can no longer divide by 2. So we think of the next number that goes into 9, which is the number 3. Again, 3 is a good number to use because it is a prime number. How many 3s are there in 9? 3. And once again, here, you can divide the number 3 by itself, the number 3. And you result with the number 1. The moment you see the number 1, you need to stop. Your calculation is complete. These are all the factors that divide into the number 72. So together, these numbers create the number 72 when they are multiplied together. So your final answer here is 2 times 2 times 2 times by 3 times by 3. You could leave your answer in this form, but generally a question will ask you to write it in index form. This means combining any of the similar bases together and writing them in a simpler form. So 2 times 2 times 2 can be written as 2 to the power of 3 multiplied 3 times 3 is the same as 3 squared. So this is your final answer. Let's have a look at this number now. 180. Again, the smallest number that this can be divided by is number 2. Half of 180 is 90. Divide this again by the number 2. Do you get the number 45? Now this is where some people may alter their method. Sometimes you can think of the lowest number you can think of that goes into 45, which is the number 3. However, when most people see the number 45, you think of the number 5 being the first prime number that can divide into it. That's okay as long as you know the number you are dividing by is a prime number. So here I'm going to divide by the number 5. I'll do it again in a minute where I do the number 3 first and show you that both of these methods give you the same answer. So divide by 5 because it's a prime number and you get the number 9. Now we can divide 9 by 3 as it is also a prime number. We get the answer 3 and once more, like before, we divide this by 3 and you get the number 1. Again, when you see the number 1, you need to stop. Your calculation is complete. So let's combine these together. 2 times 2 is the equivalent of 2 squared multiplied by 5. There's only 1, so we can just write the number 5 down. And 3 times 3 is the same as 3 squared. If I was to do this again, using the rule of the lowest number you can think of to divide by. We divide by 2 to get 90. We divide by 2 to get 45. 
we divide by 3 because it's now an odd number 1 remainder 1 5 and again we divide by 3 as it is the smallest number that divides into 15 and we get the number 5 and finally the only number that we can think of that is prime that goes into 5 is the number 5 and we get a 1 so again here we can stop we've reached the end and when you combine these together you get 2 to the power of 2 times by 3 to the power of 2 times by 5 which is exactly the same as this answer except your numbers pop out in a different order